Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 1B. And I'm going to do... I am going to do what question? 8. So just to show up there for you. This is the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. And the book there is question 8 in the middle. Uh, given A and given B, find a scalar T such that a plus t times b is along the uh, let me see now, along the i hat axis or the, the x axis or the i hat unit vector direction <coughs> so let's do that right first of all a, a is 4 i hat minus 2 j hat uh, sorry, that should be down there, or I could leave it up there also. <coughs> Excuse me, and B. The B vector is 7 i hat. 7 i hat plus 5 j hat. And we're asked to find a scalar t such that uh, a plus t times b is along the i, is along the i hat axis. Now, Think about this. If this is your xy plane or your Cartesian plane, and you have your usual unit vectors, so this could be i hat, this is j hat. Now, if if it is along the i hat axis, well then it's only in one dimension, which means it's in the x dimension here. Now this leads on, I suppose, from the video I did in, in, re in relation to dimensions. So if it's along the i-hat axis, well then it does not have any components in the, uh, sorry, not the i-hat axis, the x-axis, it doesn't have any components in the y-axis, or the j-hat unit vector direction. So therefore all the j's must add to zero, and all the x's add to something in the x-direction, of course. So the reason the j's go to zero is if you add them well if you add them if if they're not zero say if if you added a and b and you, or t times b and plus a and you got something say 3j well that would mean that somewhere in the j or the y axis as well as the x axis and that can't be the case so what we'll do is we'll say we'll call the vector c is equal to a plus t times b Okay, so C is equal to 4 i hat minus 2 j hat plus t times 7 i hat plus 5 j hat. Alright, therefore the vector C is equal to what? 4 i hat minus 2 j hat plus 7 t i hat plus 5 t j hat. And it should be clear to you at this stage that if vectors are in the same direction, they're facing the same way you can add them. So, well, those two are in the i hat direction, and you can add them. And these two here are in the j hat direction, so you can add those two. Just to <coughs> excuse me, illustrate that. And therefore, we get that c is equal to uh, four plus seven t in the i-hat direction plus plus what? 5t minus 2 in the j-hat direction right? now what did I say? I said that if the vector c currently lives in both the i uh, uh, i unit vector direction and the j unit vector direction therefore it lives both in the x-axis and the y-axis and therefore it lives in the x y plane or the Cartesian plane but we want it only to live in the the x dimension or the x axis only to have one of those which means all the j's j plus j plus j equal zero all right so that means this here 5t minus 2 is equal to zero t is equal to two-fifths, which of course means that c, uh, one sec now, 
t is equal to 2 fifths so therefore c is equal to 4 times uh, sorry 4 plus 7 times 2 over 5 <coughs> i plus 5 times 2 over 5 minus 2 j this here quite clearly goes to 0 therefore if you do the algebra it goes to 0 therefore c is equal to 4 plus 14 over 5 i hat Now, and oh by the way, that also means, yeah, T, we found T as well. Alright.